This is the new Sony A Noir. It can only shoot in black and white. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. So I just saw a video of Omar Gonzalez and uh, from Omar Gonzalez Photography, and he had this little video about his Fuji film camera that he only shoots in black and white. And it was actually quite a, a very fun video to watch, but also a video that you can learn something from. If you know what I mean right in that video he mentioned that he only uses that uh, camera that he didn't use that often anymore it was just laying there and that would be his dedicated black and white camera his noir camera and I got the same thing you know I have a Sony a6000 that I use only for my overhead cams shots for my unboxing videos but that's about it um, so I don't take it out that much often anymore going outside and doing just normal photography and watching this video has challenged me to get back to this Sony A6000 camera. This is the Sony A6000 that I don't use that often. But, you know, making this a dedicated black and white photography camera was actually quite challenging. So what do I have right here? I've got the Sony A6000 and I have here the Sigma 30mm f2.8. You might not hear about this lens anymore. It's a quite old lens but it's very capable and images are looking really sharp coming out of this camera or out of this lens. So the combination, you know, a compact little, uh, like almost a compact camera, you know, like a uh, RX camera from Sony. And I thought to myself, it would be great for street photography. So I went to The Hague here in Netherlands. I'm not sure if you know that city, The Hague is like the third biggest city here in the Netherlands. Um, anyways, I went there, did, did some street photography also. The rules or the settings that I use are just very, like, very basic. Uh, you just go to the FN button here, go to the creative style, choose black and white, and then you select that one. The image is black and white, the contrast minus one, and the saturation is nothing because there is no saturation, right? Everything is black and white, and the sharpness is minus one. So that will give you a nice little like not too contrasty pictures and just straight out of camera it looks really clean and I like the look out of it. Um, of course you can use some uh, editing software in post if you really want to but in the end it's just a new way of doing things with your old camera and that's what I really like you know and uh, with every like creative process, there's always some kind of plateau. It's also the same with other things. If you look at, for instance, like a fitness or a fitness program, there is always that the first couple of weeks you're into it. And then after a while, you're not into it anymore and you want to do something else. Then there's also the same with photography. In some certain level, some certain point, you're just a little bit stuck. And then there's something new or something else and you got a new camera or new way of shooting. In this case, black and white photography with an old camera that's just laying around and a nice little challenge to get out of your rut out of your daily daily slur <laughs> i'm not sure uh, what the english word is in in dutch we say you're you, you, you said fast in a slur so you're stuck in a slur <laughs> anyways uh, it was a nice challenge it was a nice like a twist into photography. I don't use black and white all that often. Sometimes for wedding photography, I just edit something in black and white, but only if the colors are not good or uh, I messed up some settings. But other than that, I don't use black and white at all. And having a dedicated old camera that can shoot very nice sharp images and everything black and white looks really cool as well. So I enjoyed the process. Thank you Omar for this little challenge, for this little uh, switch of things. I've enjoyed it a lot. I feel like uh, it's like a fresh new start or something. So yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Stay safe, stay healthy and that's all. Good luck.